Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlie and today I'm going to show you how I go from my work bag to my pochette matisse. And I changed the angle of the camera to show you my bag for work. I carry my pochette accessoire in monogram with the luggage tag and the monogram shoulder strap that I'm loving and this one is the old model so it's the, the smaller one but as you can see as you are going to see now I carry a lot with me and this baby holds a lot so let me show you I have my Louis Vuitton bandeau for Stephen Sprouse I have this one on but it started to get a little bit warm so I take it off and put it inside my bag so we have that one I have the case for my iPhone 8 Plus because I'm filming with it so this one I have my hand lotion this one I don't really like a lot it, it is not very moisturizing but I have this one I have my Chanel lip balm the clear one I have my favorite this is my all time favorite lip product this is the Dior lip maximizer I love this thing I want to repurchase this thing and maybe two of them in case they discontinue them this is my Sephora lip balm and this one is almost gone you guys as you can see so I'm super excited because that's an excuse to go to Sephora and get another one <laughs> And I still carry my blooding papers from Clarins without the case because I haven't a been able to get it. And my perfume, this is the, I'm not going to pronounce that because that's in French and the struggle is real in English. So <laughs> I think one struggle is enough for this video. <laughs> this is from Clarins my favorite face care brand and as you can see you still have a ton of rum the pochette accessoire holds a lot I have my car holder from Michael Kors um, I want to get the Louis Vuitton one but they never have it anytime every time I go to the store it's all out so I'm waiting to catch that one I have my key pouch in red epi vintage from Louis Vuitton and this one I use to store my coins because yes I love to have to have coins because you always need a coin in a big city and I have my key pouch with my earphones and some keys I use the cable ones because I lost the other ones and I'm not purchasing them. <laughs> and this is my pochette accessoire. I'm going to tell you the date code. This one is from 2004. And I don't know if you are going to be able to see. But yeah, this one is from 2004 and I think it's in great shape. It, this one is made in the USA and I think it needs to be cleaned but I use this thing a lot so it's my favorite I want the new model though because I want the slip pocket that it comes with it so when I store my bag I take my luggage tag away this is my most used luggage tag just because it has my dog and my initials are in my favorite color which is navy blue so this is the luggage tag that I use the most I want to get more but they refuse to sell me a luggage tag every time I go to the store so <laughs> we have to get those from eBay right and I take out my monogram strap that is still pretty much white this one is still super stiff. This is stiffer than the one from the pochette Metis that I'm going to show you in a second. But yes, I'm loving this shoulder strap and I decided to put this thing on because I don't want it to get lost. But yeah, 
And what I do to store my pochette accessoire is that I stuff it with this bubbly paper so it, it holds its shape and it's nice and full. And I have my, when I bought it, I bought it pre-loved and it come with the original dust bag, which is something that I really love because I want to have like everything original from the era. So yeah, we store it and Usually these ones I will take and I put it on display because I want to remind myself that I got this, got them, so I can um, put it in another bag. So this is how I store my bag, I put it away. And as you can see you guys, look, the pochette accessoire, the old model, looks tiny, but look how much it holds. I mean, this is a lot. Okay, so now the queen herself, the favorite of the moment, my pochette accessoire. I'm loving this. I've been using this um, the whole week and I think it's one of my favorite bags. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to pack my pochette metis. And this is the products that I'm going to be carrying. I'm debating between these two pouches to carry in my pochette accessoire but I think I'm going to choose the Wapiti just because it's like smaller and that will allow me to carry more and I love that it comes with a slit pocket because I can put the blotting papers in that pocket also the Chanel double mirror facets um, goes in there like so I will take in my Sephora lip balm, my favorite lip Dior, lip product from Dior, my Chanel lip balm, and my hand lotion. This one will not fit inside because it's long. This one, however, does fit inside the pochette accessoire the mini pochette but i don't want to take that today <coughs> and those are my toiletries now for my wallet i will be taking my chanel zip coin purse this one is in black caviar leather with gold hardware and it's made in italy so i will be taking this one I love that both are like the same, almost the same length. <laughs> it's like paying tetis on side, inside of your bag. <clears throat> and I will be taking these three because these three are always inside any of my bags. <clears throat> and I will be adding also my sunglasses that I cannot bring with me when I carrying my pochette accessoire. Okay. So this is the bag that I will be taking today. Oh, my phone. <laughs> I forgot my phone. This is the case for my phone. So today I'm going to bring with me my pochette metis. And this one I've been loving because the part that I most love about this bag is the three compartments. They make my life easier because you open the bag and you can see everything. Everything is organized. Everything looks beautiful. I'm li I'm being loving this bag so 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 much. If you are thinking about it, you should get it. Forget about all the things that people say and the problems that this bag has had because you can always return it if it comes with a problem. But it's a joy to use, truly. Okay, so in the back pocket, I'll be carrying my phone in it slides super easily my wapiti i will put it in the middle compartment and as you can see it, it still has a ton of space and there i'm going to put my key pouch my key pouch with my earphones and my 
card holder. I really want the Louis Vuitton one. It bothers me every time that I open my bag and I see a Michael Kors piece. Nothing wrong against Michael Kors, but I feel like I have to match everything. <laughs> I'm crazy, I know. And I will be putting my Chanel wallet on top of those. And as you can see, everything is perfection. I love the organization. And in the front pocket, I will be putting my sunglasses, my reading glasses because I'm blind, and my little perfume. And I will not be taking my pen because I'm afraid it's going to leak, but I'm going to show you that it does fit an Agenda PM. Usually I put my pen like this because it will not fit in the little leather part here. So this one, this pochette metal will fit an Agenda PM. And it will be closing without any problem. So as you can see, it calls a Agenda PM. With, any, with everything else that I have on. Um, but I will not carry that one because this is not my work bag. So, yep. And it closes super easily. Like so. And I thought that it was a nice idea to put my little luggage tag because I think it looks super cute. Although the bachet doesn't match, but I think it looks cute. So we are going to do that now. And so, oh, it looks cute, but I think it is like it, you, you see how it does like flaps. Mm, maybe if it's longer, the leather piece. So I will be putting that in the longest setting. Yeah, this is better. Oh my God, it looks super beautiful. It looks like a tiny briefcase. I feel like I'm going to be doing big businesses in the city, carrying this around. <laughs> and let me put the shoulder strap so you can have the complete illusion so that's it you guys this is how i pack my pochette accessoire it looks super cute it looks like a tiny briefcase <laughs> i will be running around in the city with this oh my god it does look like a mini briefcase i mean it's cute but i don't want to feel boring <laughs> i don't think it's boring with the luggage tag yeah i think it's fun it looks really vintage to be a modern piece it looks vintage as you can see it doesn't expand, expand a lot it's not like overfilled although you are carrying a lot as you can see once you open the bag you can see everything you're carrying my wallets my wapiti my, my sunglasses and my glasses my little perfume is there and my phone is in the back I think it's great I love the organization. I don't have any problem with the s lock It doesn't open on itself. I always can close it without any problem. And yes, you guys, I'm going to show you how it does look on me. I'm six foot tall. And yes. <coughs> It's gorgeous. I love the luggage tag. I think it, it gives a fun look to it. But yeah, you guys, I love this bag. I really, really love this bag. I want to use it more so I can give you a full honest review on the bag. I honestly haven't had any problem with it. I've been loving it every single day. I cannot wear to take her out every day. And I don't have any regrets getting it, <laughs> but I want to use it more and give you a full review in the next month or so. Yes, you guys, I love this thing.
you want to see a review on this piece please let me know i have the also the catalog that comes with the wapiti here so if you want a full review of this piece and a quick look of the Louis Vuitton catalog, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to film that because I love this piece and I can't wait to share with you all its beauties. So if you like the video, please give me a like, follow me on my Instagram, let me know in the comments down below what other ideas of videos you have for me. So yes, you guys, that's it for my video. Bye.